It's like, boom, bye, bye. Put it in the comment section. Because you know we're back at it again with these quick updates. Because trust, if it's not for if I'm king mix up, it's not credible. I keep on telling you that. And you don't know the thing said, people. I hope you're having a blessed day today. Because we have some updates. Our guan from what not a guan. You see me, I say. Earlier, we did a review saying put a hype. And um, Sizzler was flexed at Spice and Leela Ike for what they're promoting in other business. You see me, I say. Nastinism, you see me. Well, in uh, one of those posts, they tagged the warlord. And trust me, the warlord is not too happy. And wait till you hear what he has to say. And you'll be surprised. That is true. You feel what I'm saying? Also, if you're still eating fast food, at the end of this video, I don't think you are because, trust me, when it says some things, I'll get rid of people, but trust me, it's, yeah, disgusting. Also, because these people are making it a bottom thing. In my opinion, Kevin O. Smith is the same as the girl you see to the right of him. Yes, Leela Ike, because the two of them deceive the nation. But before we get into all that, people, please hit the like button and share. It will be truly appreciated. Trying to reach a broader audience. You see me? I say, now let's get into it. Okay, people. The warlord, dancehall king, bounty killer, has chimed in since he was dragged into this nastiness earlier today by foot of hype. Yes, bounty killer is defending Queen Spice. And I'm talking about the queen of dancehall. Spice, Gracie Hamilton, and this in foot of hype at the same time. So, if you don't know, you know. Yeah, this is what he had to say. And so, after making this post, he said, This is the real concern at hand right now. Another fellow artist need help. So, some little low life skirmish who's tagging me. That's foot of hype he's talking about. About other people's business. That's Spice, because you know she's headlined to be um at Pride Festival. You see what i to each his own and they left me alone and got lagged down somewhere to Bomba Club. When me talk normally, I heard that me a dance all bully slash police. Or me bad minded. My picnic them are mostly adults today. I had enough lives and persons to monitor and mentor. Can't believe my eyes did say it all in 99, since 99. And I watched y'all help it shit it up and freak it all. You know, he's talking about alkaline. And, um... Vibes cartel, you know, alkaline and nine body wash thing and cartel, you know, the bleach out and all of these things and you know, whatever, whatever, whatever. You see me I say. Y'all y'all help to shit it up and freak it out, dance all audience. So what's the big problem now? Edens and sheedens, is it me? Yeah, and this is all because Foot the Hype tagged him earlier like you can like you see in front of you and he said this in all my twenty plus years. As an established product of Jamaican dancehall and reggae music, this hits. This is the first time I feel completely defeated, ashamed, embarrassed, weak, betrayed. In my subconscious mind, I was confident that two people I would never live to see do this was Spice and Bounty Killer. This is how this now drives a serious fear in my conscience that all hope is lost. This is a submission to the devil has become the new thing. For dancehall artists, it is the new norm. For our culture, based on what I see going, is the moral values are no longer important. The only thing that matters is money. The preservation of our music, culture, and righteousness values don't count. Honestly. On the name of the Almighty, I was banking and hoped that no matter what, Spice would never give in to something like, I guess I was wrong. This is a big L for the ancestors of Jamaica and the music given to us by the Almighty. Money has officially poisoned and crippled our industry. Well, well maybe this is a band now, band show. If not, it would be sad that Spice wouldn't consider the well-being and the career of the DJ after this shame kill. Why for that not even know what to say? I'm can't even write properly, you see, master people. And you know, Born to Kill, I have um, an album that he's dropping, so probably him won't get him visa back and all of these things, you see me, I say, so I'm mean, just get an update with that, that is Born to Kill, a response to Spice, a fear business, let she do what she want to do, you see me, I say, and we need help for Tiger, because since his bike accident in 1994, Norman Washington Jackson, popularly known as Tiger, 
has been battling numerous medical complications. The most recent is a minor stroke that has challenged his mobility. His daughter and caretaker, Rhea, is seeking your assistance to help cover his medical expenses. Please donate to and them say it right there, sir. And help the no wanga God entertainer. He said, May I say? And they said, We are just asking for a little help to get our father's health and life back on track. Any support will help, whether it's financial or just having him in your prayers. Yes, man, big up yourself, Tiger, you know. Judge our people, you know. It's not about people's bedroom activities, still, you know. It's just what it represents, you know what I mean? And this is my example of what I'm talking about because uh, these people are, are making it a bedroom business and, it, and it's not about bedroom business, you know. Okay, people, let's have an adult conversation now. In my opinion, cult leader Kevin O. Smith is equivalent to Leela Ike. And I beg Ona to disagree with me in the comment section based off of my example. The two of these people deceived a nation. One deceived the Christian nation. The other deceived Rasta nation. And the two of these people made these images um, distasteful. Yes, on the Christians, on the try to distance on herself from Kevin O. Smith, even though he was a bishop. And in our bare Christian things, it's a master. And he didn't let he didn't make Jesus look good. That's why he was distant on himself. And the same thing while with Leela Aiki. Rasta represents black woman and child, African king and queen, gods and goddess. You know what I mean? Something rarely seen on planet Earth, you know. And a lot of these body girl use the Empress image. Cause you know, say so you have some warrior princess in a you know, they didn't have the giddy, you know what I mean, upon Rasta side. And true, most of these lesbian or tomboyish, you know, them get for blending with the Rasta because it's upset, it's, it's, it's accepted for a girl to be militant and warrior, you know. But they are nothing but Rastas and pastors, you see me. I said, there's nothing empress, al, uh, empress about them, you know. Even in a them body girl lifestyle, they're not even a good woman because a two, three, four woman, them girl, you have, you see me, I said. So I just wanted to make that um, statement because most of these people are, are, are turning it into some bedroom activities. Nobody don't care about in the bedrooms activities, but you're not going to use one's image and culture to benefit oneself and destroy it at the same time. His immersion. Now, based off of what I just said, if you disagree with me, put in the comment section because there's no disagreement. You know, I mean, you Christians didn't like... Um, what Kevin Master was doing with other things, and we sure as hell don't like what Leela Ike and Protege are promoting at the business. But we just want to give it that um, perspective, you see me? Yeah, let's proceed. Excuse me. Yeah. I'm taking pictures. Because I'm going to put it on social media, that's why I'm here. It's disgusting here at McDonald's. There are maggots all over the floor. The manager, this guy's trying to stop me from taking pictures. All over the floor. And they moving. Yeah, they're alive. You know, two of them here, they came from the roof. Just the that, ladies that, that, he dropped on the ladies' food. Yeah, that's why I I'm gonna oh get a refund on this. Uh, this is McDonald's in Bexon. With maggots. Around. They were all over the floor. Oh, you need... yeah. The maggots are absolutely everywhere. All over the floor. And they were alive. over the floor. They dropped onto a lady's table here. You 
which is absolutely disgusting. Yesterday you guys showed me disgusting people it's cheaper to buy your own food than a lot healthier cuz them your people you're nasty what's them not gonna get paid that much but I'm not get an update with what I go on with bounty killer and all of these people you know foot of hype and spice I live them life aside don't forget to like the video and share and things and things will be truly appreciated if you're new subscribe hit the notification bell therefore you'll be notified when I drop the latest and dance on news musical reviews and gossips please